was the dedication of trail markers that the historic preservation put along the trail. The next picture is a, some pictures from William Woods College. Senior Lake is the little pond down by the administration. Junior Lake is the big lake up by the North End of Campus. Once upon a time, Junior Lake had sailboats. Nobody else that would like to talk. So we have the next thing on our agenda, which is the presentation of proclamations and dedications of the city of. We have, we have one more. We have one more. Yeah. Kathy. Oh, sorry. Well, I didn't think I'd see you tonight. So. <laughs> Good evening, Mayor and members of the council. My name is Melissa Stratt, and I'm the Deputy City Clerk for the City of Camdenton. I'm also on the State Public Relations Committee for the Missouri City Clerks and Finance Officers Association. My purpose in being here tonight is to recognize City Clerk Courtney Croson for her being awarded the des designation of IIMC Certified Municipal Clerk. This certification is a combination of education and experience and Courtney is to be commended for her dedication in achieving this goal. The Missouri City Clerks and Finance Officers Association has approximately 516 clerks in the state of Missouri. With the ever-changing state statutes and rules governing cities, it is vital that someone be kept current on those regulations. MOCC FOA takes this role very seriously and will continue to strive to ensure that the education provided is relevant to the needs and positions we cover. Additionally, you, the board and mayor, are to be commended for your continued support of Courtney as she has worked towards the certification. It clearly demonstrates that you recognize and acknowledge that she receives, the knowledge she receives at the educational sessions is of great benefit to you, your staff, and your citizens. I, on behalf of the Missouri City Clerks and Finance Officers Association. Give best wishes to Courtney as she continues her commitment to lifelong learning and her career and services to the city of Fulton. of proclamations and dedication of the City of Fulton Community Christmas Tree. Uh, Mr. Dunlap, I think you have something to bring to us. Yeah, I think we've got a little slideshow if we can get that pulled up. Uh, while he's doing that though, we had a lot of help with this and I think some of them's out in the crowd. Gary Blackburn with Pro Muffler, John Barry Morris, Garden Club. It was kind of a, it was a group effort. And uh, Darren's clicking. <laughs> but 
but it started last year as we was putting up the Christmas decorations. Everybody knows that our Christmas decorations aren't in very good shape. So we started looking for something we could do. And uh, I believe shortly after Christmas, Mr. Johnson took Mike and I down there to the roundabout and said, what do y'all see? We're like, we, we see a roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but it was Bill's idea to try to build a tree there. Then it became how big, how big around, and uh, how many lights is it going to take, and what kind of materials do we have on hand to, uh, to help the tree. So later that year, later last year, early this year, we met with Bill again and said, are you really serious about this because this is going to take a little bit of time to round up the stuff. And uh, Bill talked with the mayor and everybody decided we was serious. So we went and talked to some gentlemen in the electric department and Billings and Ground and said, guys, you think we can do it? And they said, ah, we can do it. I mean, I, they've never told us, no, we can't. They, they figure out a way to make this stuff work. So we started, and this is a fuzzy picture. I mean, we started with a huge flagpole that was at Morningside. We, Mike and them took a truck down there to the roundabout, set it on the, on the roundabout, see how far they could lift, which basically determined the height was about going to be about 45 to 50 feet. Well, we needed a hoop around the bottom of it to tie everything to. And your two finest engineers, Kyle Brimmer and myself, decided <laughs> what the bend ought to be. <laughs> and we gave it to Gary, and he bent it, and uh, we was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so we started that again. And uh, Gary was really good to work with and, and came up with some good ideas. Well, we didn't want to try to do it out in the middle of the roundabout, so we kind of strung some lights out in the truck shop, and we didn't want it to be random. And then I believe it was it was Pat and them guys said, you know, we need to stagger them lights. We're going to have with a whole bunch of lights right at the top. It's going to be hard to hard to work. So we set it up there, and then we had a star, <laughs> and we got the star built. And then we set the pole up at the service center uh, and tried to see if our two-foot space was going to work, and everybody agreed that it, that it was. So we dug. We got with engineering. Can't leave engineering out. Engineering got a permit from ODOT to allow us to do this. So hats off to, to MoDOT for allowing this. Engineering got the permit. We dug a three-foot by five-foot hole, filled it full of concrete. Don't forget the garden club thing. We had. The garden club. I got to talk about the garden club. We met with the garden club before this started, and we kind of promised we would try to wait till after frost to do this, <laughs> so the wildflowers could do their thing. We had a late frost, y'all. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we met with them again, and uh, they gathered their seeds, and we we waited and tried to let everybody get everything done. And the garden club was great to work with. They was they were really good. <clears throat> So then we installed the anchors because while we got the pole bolted down, we also anchored it because, you know, we're utility people and that's just what we do. <laughs> uh, one truck, correct? One truck got stuck in the roundabout while we was trying to put it together. And you can see the, you know, the Fulton traffic, they figure out a way. They're just going backwards through the roundabout to, uh, oh my. to take care of everything. Wow. Like a normal Tuesday. The tree's going up good. And our goal was to, as we built this, is to make it reusable, where we can take it down, store it nicely, put it back up. Billings and Graham took all the scrap that we found, wire brushed it, painted it, made it look like it, it does. They've got a lot of hours in this tree. Hanging lights, I believe that's the mirror in that bucket at that point uh -huh. in time. Yeah. Working on the star. Daryl's Daryl's downplaying that picture. When the mayor got back there to the ground, he was he was that much happier person than when he was <laughs> up, up there. He said said the bucket just wouldn't stop doing this. And on on eleven five the tree was lit the first time. Uh, it did come on when they had the timer set. Mr. Johnson was down there and he texted me and I didn't know if he was gonna text me, hey it's not on or <laughs> it's on. And then that first night and then Alan Combs, if we could dim the lights, you could see it better. He took some pictures of it with the drone. Yeah. And then there's the other picture with the moon in the background. 
So I think I think everybody's really proud of the tree. It turned out well, and it's it's the workmanship of your employees that made that possible. How many lights it got on there, Micah? Andrew. Andrew had built a star before, so we nicknamed him Star Man. <laughs> Everybody else named Star Alone. That's Andrew. Andrew, raise your hand just so the council knows. There we go. That's Andrew. Yeah, they're LED, and how many amps did you all check on it? Six and a half amps pulls that tree. So it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty less than I got that much of my house. <laughs> <laughs> I think you do. So it, there was a lot of work. A lot of love. A lot of love. A lot I of mean, pride. Mm -hmm. There was, a, you know, Dennis was involved a little bit because we was trying to figure out how big the bottom should be versus the height, and none of us agreed on that. <laughs> a lot of sketches on napkins. Well, and then we, as we kind of discussed, we were going to have Gary build, build a circle, and that's how big the bottom was going to be. We, get, we kind of said, you know, try for about 30 feet, but if it's 33 or 28, or it's going to be awesome. And it's like 30 feet, like on the money. And it went right together, right like... <laughs> Like it's supposed to, after me and Kyle got out of the way for yeah. <laughs> trying to hear how to be in the pipe. So, you have a lot of be proud of your people. Your people did a great job. And I think even people that I know that don't live in town, that live in Columbia, bragged about that tree. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, to go along with this, we also have a couple of proclamations. I guess I'll come down there.
he and his family take as much pride as the citizens of Fulton do in knowing his handiwork will be a permanent fixture in this community for years to come. And now, therefore, Lau County, Mayor of the City of Fulton, on behalf of the City Council and the citizens of Fulton, extend our sincere appreciation to Gary Blackburn Jr. for his efforts and craftsmanship. The Fulton Community Christmas Tree is an obvious success that is undeniably attributed to Gary's contributions. In witness there whereof, Lyle have unto set his hand and caused to be affixed the official seal of the City of Fulton, Missouri this 26th day of November 2019. of our city employees that helped put this together too. Yeah. The ones that happen to be here. Come on up. I think so too. Yeah. <laughs> you can bring her with you. You can bring the kids, huh? Yeah, yeah. Bring, the little ones. Yeah. Yeah. bring the kids. Bring the little ones. Yeah. yeah. Carol. Bring it. Kyle. done it without you. you. You all are more than welcome to stay. <laughs> but you're also I'm not saying you said anything there, but look who's heading out. Tell him happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yes. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Star Man. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Gary. Yeah. Next, let's move on to the consent agenda. Madam Clerk, can you please present the consent agenda? Yes, sir. On tonight's consent agenda, we'll have the approval of the City Council meeting minutes of October 22nd, 2019, approval of the City Council meeting minutes of November 12th, 2019, approval of the Director of Administration report of October, approval of the appointment of Elaine Keim to the Fulton Housing Authority Commission, an acknowledgement of the following board and commission reports. For Historic Preservation Commission, we have the August 20th and September 17th meetings. Human Rights Commission is January, good Lord. Sorry, everybody. Uh, Planning and Zoning Commission is July 8th, and Public Utility Board was August 26th and September 23rd. Anybody like to remove anything from the consent agenda? Make a motion to approve the consent agenda as written. Second. That motion is second. Any discussion? <coughs> All those in favor? Yes. 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 All opposed? All right. Now we have Ms. Hoschlag here to present the financial report. We've now recorded nine months of sales tax and we are right in line with the same period of time last year. I don't think there's $3,000 worth of difference. Um, <clears throat> I'll start out by telling you that typically on the October statement, I report the uh, property tax revenue. However, I did not receive notice of how much money we could expect until after this report had gone to bed. Um, I've tried to make note of anything out of the ordinary, we had several big encumbrances in, uh, in October. The police department encumbered $70,000 for two new vehicles. We have about $500,000 worth of encumbrances for the sewer department um, and a new tra trash truck for 289 dollars $290,000. 
And I'd be happy to answer any questions. Kathy, with the, with the utility bills being laid, how's that all working out for the yeah. citizens? You know, everybody's, it was amazing. Nobody, had, nobody's got a problem. No, we extended the due date and everybody paid by the 15th. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all creatures of habit. I think that yeah. has to show that. And the software conversion is ongoing um, yeah. and taking a <laughs> lot of time. Thank you. Anybody that's been to a software conversion knows it's like worse than a triple root canal? Far, far worse. And um, <laughs> we're going in for triple root canals two or three days in a row. So it's, yeah. it's, I live here. It's, <laughs> it's been a painful process for staff. Through it. Do you expect the utility bills to be laid again next month? Yes. More? Okay. Yes. So have we there made plans to put that out so that yes. the community knows? Yes. Okay. There's an ad ready to go in the paper. Um, there will be consultants for the utility billing um, side of the house starting December 2nd through the week of the 12th, I think. So okay. they'll be here for two full weeks. Thank and you. during that time, we're, we will be um, processing the bills in ENCODE. Thank you. So. I hate, I hate a simple phone update, so I can't imagine a complete uh -huh. computer update. No, we couldn't have imagined it either, to tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah. It's, Thank it's you. coming. Motion to approve the financial report? Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any more discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed. We haven't any unfinished business. We move on to new business. We have Mr. Bonnell here from Murma. And I think he has a presentation of 2019 grant awards. For somebody newer on the council, I just want to point out that Patrick used to be my assistant. He used to work for the city of Fulton several years ago and did a great job, but uh, wanted to go on and try something different and better and moved on, moved on up and moved on out. And Look at him today. <laughs> Give him money away. I don't know if it's better, but I'm here. Um, thank you, Deputy Mayor. Again, my name is Patrick Bono, Loss Control Director for Murma. We have 83 cities in the association, much like yourselves, who attempt to lower losses across the lines, whether that's liability or workers' compensation. One of the ways that we do this, and this is my annual speech because you guys get this annually, is we have a grant program. We try to get the money back into the hands of the cities. And if it weren't for the hard work of Robert and Gayla Dunn and some of the other department heads, you wouldn't be getting this money. So this is, this is money applied for uh, at the bequest of their hard work. And I have a list of the grants that you will be receiving this year. And the total this year comes up to $10,373.83. And if my phone will work. Here, with this. Do you have a list? <laughs> so several items this year. Uh, the most expensive item is a hydraulic hammer. Uh, I'm assuming that's for the street department. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We'll find a home for that, apparently. Right. <laughs> uh, air quality for wastewater, flammable storage cabinet, uh, automatic external defibrillator for electric distribution, which is kind of a new thing. Um, you know, uh, you, you hope your crews don't encounter a shock during the course and scope of their employment, but if they do, it's a good thing to especially have that uh, on an electric crew. We have fall protection for wastewater, water tower fall protection, less lethal shotgun and rounds for the police department, and then a dash camera for the police department as well. And I think you, you also have a list of these at your individual locations, but uh, I would be glad to answer any questions if you do have any. But I will present this to the deputy mayor. <laughs> While they're, while they're doing their presentation, I'd like to just talk about Murma a little bit. Um, Murma, they have, they have us do like 
documenting when we have safety trainings and require certain safety trainings throughout the year. And each department is required to maintain what's referred to as the black box. All their schedules and um, all their agendas and who attended in the black box. And Patrick then comes around once a year and audits the black box. Kind of gives us an idea what um, we use Patrick's name in vain many, <laughs> many times a year. All we got to do is say it's because of Patrick. And everybody's like, okay, <laughs> all right, fine. And, and everybody gets on board and they fill out the paperwork and they get it done. Um, let me, so think of your car insurance provider coming around and checking your tires. Mm -hmm. they can, and, and if they don't like your tires, they tell you to get new ones. Um, they come around and check your brakes. Well, he comes around and checks hard hats and fall protection and trenching and shoring and just 150 different parks equipment, the, the, the playground equipment, does an annual inspection on that. So one thing I like to say about it is, even though they're our insurance company, they kind of force us to be better. Because of their, their audits and their inspections, if we fail an audit, they can charge us extra. It's part of the deal. And we, it goes back many years, but the playground equipment, the new playground equipment probably eight to ten years ago in Veterans Park, we were getting some serious strikes on that playground equipment, just for lots of reasons. And Patrick was getting ready to find us $60,000. And we kind of said, well, instead of us paying him $60,000, why don't we spend that $60,000 and just get some new playground equipment? Mm -hmm. And so they worked with us and said, you got six months. And they let us do it, and it all worked out. And we got new playground equipment, and they're happy, and we're happy, and a lot of kids enjoy the playground equipment. So we, we really appreciate I know we, we, lots of times we think you're kind of a pain, but you're, that's your, you're just doing your job. <clears throat> we're we, often. We appreciate your efforts. Sure, thank you. I uh, appreciate those comments. You know, we're, we're often used as a, a crux in, in terms of safety and getting things done, and that's certainly not a problem. Glad to do that. Um, but in a, in a self-admission, I guess, within the last couple of weeks, maybe a month or so, and I'm glad the, the mayor is not here tonight because I would be telling on myself, um, but I, I texted Bill um, one evening and I said, you know, that's great you're doing this Christmas tree and, and all, and you even got the mayor in the bucket truck, <laughs> as I remember, um, but the pictures that you posted on no Facebook do not show me any fall protection. <laughs> <laughs> and... There were several pictures, and I thought I was good. And uh, he said, au contraire, and sent me the rest of the pictures on the phone, all of which showed a harness on the mayor. Yeah. So, you know, I, I try to be as observant as I can, <laughs> but if I'm not getting the whole, the whole story, you know, that's, right. that's you, you do find things, and that's why you, you don't jump to conclusions immediately, but just, you know, keep asking questions and the proof was in the, the following pictures he had sent. So I'm very glad to see that, especially since it's the mayor on the business route putting up one of the most public things you can see. I don't know if Lau would have you, allowed himself to be up there without you, a harness. You would never find <laughs> Lau anywhere near a bucket truck. He barely will come up to this ramp without a harness. <laughs> yeah. He said it. not like I uh, didn't care. Glad to hear it. <laughs> the bottom line is if there's an issue without me, with the exception of him falling out of the bucket, <laughs> it's trouble anyway. If that's yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I, I would like to mention to everyone that the grant money is a matching or, or a good part matching fund. So most of it is 50% with the exception of the dash cams. Right. And it's a 65%. Mm -hmm. so, the, so there is definitely match money that, that we are putting out Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yes. And uh, to that end, across the whole association, with 250,000, we're able to leverage close to $2 million in safety improvements because of that. So it's, it's a very good program. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's come to the part where we like to set aside a little bit of time to let the council express their concerns. Ms. Sabacher, do you have anything this evening? I do not, sir. Thank you. Ms. Reclude. I'd like to thank everyone who's here tonight. Uh, 
wish we were here more often. You're always welcome. Um, thank you for voicing your opinions. And uh, come back again, please. Thank you. Mr. Stone? I have a question about uh, Collier Lane by the car wash. I've had citizens from both Ward 2 and Ward 3 ask me, I mean, I understand it had something to do with the water tower and some repairs that needed to be done there, mm -hmm. but there's questions about is the street, the status of the street and repair of the street and how we'll be looking the rest of the winter. Mm -hmm. Probably the rest of the winter is going to look about the way it does. That was the concern. We did plate the street to try to keep that warm weekend where we could work. I guess that worked out pretty good. Okay. And then as it settles this winter, we'll keep adding gravel and keep that passable until warm weather hits, and then we'll see what the settling does. Okay. Okay. It needs more now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's all I That's have. That's all for you? Yeah. I just wanted to express a thank you to whoever it was that gave us our coat racks. Thank you. <laughs> I think Robert sitting there like that. Ah, <laughs> Mr. Braun. I have nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, Ms. Pacenuk. I have nothing. Mr. Moore. Well, I have two of those short ones. If you have in the this is not a concern. If you go up on the corner of Jefferson and 7th, I believe that our crew did a, was doing a wonderful job on the handicap pour today. It looks really good. And my other one was in the administrator's report. What is the price for adoption of a cat? Dennis? Dennis? Dog the same? We'll move on to resolutions. Uh, we have a resolution number 3358 pertaining to an agreement for services with the Callaway Chamber of Commerce. It was tabled at our last meeting. Do we have a motion and second to remove it from the table? I move to remove from the table. Second. We have a motion and second. Any discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed? Okay, um, Madam Clerk, did we have another motion at the last um, meeting? We did have a motion, resolution? yes, we did have a motion at the last meeting by Councilwoman Sabacher, seconded by Councilman Shiverdecker, um, to proceed with adopting resolution 3358 as presented. Uh, do your motions and seconds still stand? Yes. yes. Okay. All right, then we do have a motion on the floor to go ahead and move forward in a second. All right, we have a motion second to accept the uh, chamber resolution as written. Um, any discussion? I, I just would like to put one thing out there and then, then I'm done is we look back, the, the council sat in a budget meeting and discussed what was happening as well as prior to that budget meeting had the opportunity to accept $12,000 of rent from the chamber, which we, which we declined. And so in, in my eyes, ultimately, they are $2,000 ahead. They were willing to pay $12,000, and they're $2,000 ahead of it as it is now. No one is trying to slight or, or belittle anything that the chamber is doing. I don't believe any one of us have that intention. That's it. Thank you. No more discussion. Uh, Deputy Mayor, I, I think we have opportunity here. Uh, we have a brand new opportunity that was brought to us since our last meeting, since we tabled this resolution. 
that would offer some opportunity for funding to the chamber for a brand new program that will assist our high school seniors. Um, I think we have opportunity to look at some various things this next year. I believe we should consider taking the amount back to the 88,000 and, and finding funding opportunity, whether we call it two more $5,000 sponsorships and we find opportunity there to sponsor various activities within the chamber, or we choose to sponsor this, the matching funds to assist with this grant program for the welding. I think we have opportunity to, to amend the resolution prior to passage. It is. So we do have an opportunity, is that a motion? Well, we have an opportunity, and I'm opening it up for further discussion. It is my understanding that the there is not matching funds with this, and if I'm incorrect, somebody please correct me. They received a grant for $103,000 to support a welding program for high school seniors. Mm -hmm. to use the equipment that they had received, roughly a $350,000 grant to open it up to various community members. And the request is for the city to assist with the marketing and the advertising and the time and materials and all the resources that will go into supporting the transportation and various things of those students to the chamber building for that welding program. And that's, that's the pieces that I understand it. And so while maybe there, this is just a new opportunity that I think we could, could take advantage of. I certainly feel like it could be part of the two, two of the, the $5,000 amounts that were allocated already at the, at the 78000 for the chamber. Oh I see it as an additional opportunity. We don't we don't do HVAC classes. We don't do CDL classes. There's lots of other things that we don't that we don't have and do. And and what would be what would be the difference? No one is not is <laughs> everyone is trying to support the community. Absolutely. So, including the council. That's correct. Mr. Mayor. I feel at this time, the way this has been presented to the chamber, the timing of it, I feel that we should stay with our 88,000 and look into next year, early next year, if there's something, a need or a change that we make. But at this time, it's like taking your budget and having to take a certain amount out of it and live on that for the rest of the, the year. And I think it's not. It's bad timing. I feel that it wasn't presented early enough, and I just think we should look at it next year to change. But right now, I still feel we should stay with what, what we promised to give them and what we have committed to do for the year. So, and is that a motion to amend the resolution? Yes. I'll, yes. And the resolution. Second. We have a motion and a second to amend the resolution, which would change the resolution back to the 88,000 as it was last year. It means we're not doing the, the $5,000 awards for anything. It's all straight, just 88,000. That's what I think. I kind of like the idea of having certain amounts allocated for specific projects. The way that we currently have it written up, it's fifty-eight thousand as a, a bulk gift, and then four five thousand dollar projects. Now, if we add that ten thousand dollars that was requested for the welding program, that could be an additional ten thousand dollar project defined for this specifically to show the community this is exactly what we're supporting in the chamber. And I agree, next year early, we do need to have a discussion with the chamber and everyone yes. involved. Hey, this is our, our idea of where we want to go with the budget. It's, it's a little late this year. Um, but so we, we need to discuss 
early next year on this budget. Okay. So, Ms. Reclue, with your, was your intent to take it back to 88000 or was it to keep the $20,000 in sponsorships and add the $10,000 specifically for the welding program? Mine was to still be 88. 88. Okay. Okay, does everybody understand? She's going straight back to what we were doing before we changed anything. So we have a motion and a second. We've discussed. Any more discussion? I think I'm with Lindsay. I like the designation. I don't know. Um, I, I think that that's, it's important for the community to see that, that this money, although gifted for the 58, that bulk portion, but that the remainder is to fund program A, program B, program C, whatever they may be, um, so that the city, the citizens see that. I think that's mm -hmm. important. Um, I, I do like, Mary, I appreciate your comments, but for me personally, I think that the designation and splitting it up is better. If you'd like to amend your amendment, I'll amend my second. Me? No. Okay. All right, so we're going to vote now. On now, wait, you have something. We voting on Mary's amendment. We are now voting on Mary's Stone's amendment. Original one, okay. Of eighty-eight thousand dollars, as it was previously. At eighty-eight thousand. Yes. All right. All those in favor, say yes. 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 All opposed, no. Can you no. Raise, no. No. raise your hands for me, please? Okay. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> it, the amendment did not pass. So we'll move on. Can Is I make a motion now on the original? You'd like to amend yes. the resolution? I would like to amend it to the fifty-eight thousand plus four five thousand dollar designations plus the ten thousand dollar for the welding program. Okay. Second. We have an amendment of second motion for and discussion. Second. Now discuss. <laughs> I could go along with you, but let them take their 20 and let them do what they then get their 10 from out of their 20. They could take two of those for their for the 10 for the welding program. And they that's still total 78,000. 78, yeah. mm -hmm. They still end up at 78,000, but they can use their, their 10 from I out of the, their four or five. I think the concern at this point is getting the total to the 88,000. You know, I don't really have a problem starting to early discuss it, but as a council, we discussed it, and there was only one person, as I remember, said it was too late to probably change it. But now, as a council, we voted to go with seven, eight, and that, and that's where I feel we should stick at. But I'm willing to let you put that other 20 wherever you want to put it at. I'll go along with that. I would agree with Mr. Moore. I think micro managing or micro t this type of thing we're trying to do is not fair. I don't feel this is fair. It's too late in the year. It's like taking your budget that you give a child and the child knows this year you can't have this. And you hand them two weeks ahead of time and say this is it and you have to try it. I just don't feel that this is fair at this time. And that's my Mary, opinion. the request comes, if I'm not mistaken, every year from the chamber about the same time mm -hmm. and that's when it was informed now do I think there could have been better communication certainly but but it's done the same way it's been done the same way for I don't know how many years and we, and we have supported that the still chamber and that F still doesn't F make it right it, it does not make it right, I'm, right. Not, I'm not a, I'm not disagreeing with that but we all agreed 100% with the exception of it, the one person that wasn't mm -hmm. at the open budget retreat that we did. Um, but I made my thoughts known before you, I left. You certainly did, with, without a doubt. I was present for part of it, not all of it. But uh, Mary put it in this term, we, you know, no one ever, it was a five year deal and it's a, uh, we're not, like there's four people that's going to be up for re-election, we're not obligated to say it was a lifetime at 88000 because we can't commit another council. It may, none of us may not be here or something. Exactly. So mm -hmm. We might have done late notice on it, 
the we have a budget and we got match grants and I just says you know let them have the 20 if if Lindsay wants to go that route with the 20 they want to do with it current amendment is for we have a motion to amend <coughs> the resolution for the 58 the 20 and an extra 10 mm -hmm. for the the new addition welding program mm -hmm. yep. right welding program yep. so the extra do we <coughs> tell them where to put that money or do are they free to take that and put so it? again it that, would be the 58 and right. then the 20 would be specific to four or five thousand uh, dollars sponsorships and then that last 10 yeah, would be specific to okay. the welding program according to Christ <coughs> okay. right so everybody got that mm -hmm. all right all those in favor say yes 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 all opposed? No. 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 Please. No. You not. Hands, for, hands for no. Hands for no. Hands for no. Okay, give me just one second but, but, here. Sorry. Well, explain again. We not the yes same no. way we're giving no. them the full eighty-eight thousand. Okay. Is Mary's what we're currently but voting there. on. Mary's but we're saying that the ten goes to the well. Okay, so just to be clear, I have four no's. Mr. Braun, Mr. Moore, Mr. Schiverdecker, and Ms. Reclue, yes? Okay, Perfect. then the motion does not pass. Motion doesn't pass. We're back to the original 78,000, which is 58,000 plus 20,000 in sponsorships. That is where we stand right now. Any more discussion? Well, I guess we could try a vote again, couldn't we? All those in favor of... The original resolution, say yes. 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 Opposed? No. 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 And raise those hands, please. Oh, you want the no. 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 No people, please raise your hand. So the resolution fails. Resolution fails. There is no contract. At this meeting. At, there is no contract as of right now. And I apologize on this end. Who was a no? I didn't get to see you. Thank you very much. All right, uh, we move on. Ms. Reclue, would you go ahead and present Resolution 3362? Yes. Mm -hmm. Resolution <clears throat> number 3362, resolution authorizing the mayor on behalf of the city of Fulton, Missouri, to apply for and sign all necessary documents in relation to the safe route to parks, to parks grant. Uh, I make a motion that resolution uh, 30, 3262 be approved at the ninth meeting. Second. We have a motion and a second. Discussion, Mr. Cobb. This is a grant uh, that we're looking at to enhance the ADA transition uh, plan that uh, we, we, we received some grant funding uh, to do an ADA transition plan recently uh, in, in the tune of uh, $10,000, $8,000. It was actually granted 2000 total. This grant would, uh, uh, would be an I see it as an adder to enhance the ADA, ADA transition plan. Uh, the total that we can receive on this grant uh, is $12,500, I believe. So uh, just a way to enhance that plan and make that uh, plan actually come to light. So any questions? Do you have ideas of what you're going to do with this? Where it's going to be implemented? It, it'll, be, it'll be spent to develop an ADA transition plan. An ADA transition plan basically is a plan of what we're doing with our uh, sidewalks and trying to trying to get our sidewalks uh, more compliant uh, for folks with disabilities. Uh, it's a, it's also a requirement that uh, this, an ADA transi transition plan is a requirement um, by the federal government uh, under the ADA Act of 1990, I believe. Is this also a matching grant? Uh, there is no there is no monetary match required we are we are looking for um, one key one key element to this grant is the city itself um, cannot apply for this grant uh, we are looking for a 501c3 uh, to be the actual uh, applicant uh, and the city support uh, uh, that applicant and be a, the 
the, the key partner. So uh, we are looking for um, we are looking for that 501c3 Fulton Area Development Foundation um, as somebody we're looking at. And I'm sorry, Kyle, but the resolution reads that we're authorizing the mayor on behalf of the city of Fulton <coughs> to sign all necessary documents. If there's any necessary document that, that the city needs to sign in the process, then we will. But okay. uh, you yes. know, we're we're for what we're essentially looking for is support for you to go after for us to go after this grant and seek a 501c3 partner. Right. So, so I know that we Gala, might sign right. is that partnership document, right. not necessarily the application. Right. I know that. Thank you. I know that Gala Dunn with our and uh, finance are looking for that partner, and I know that they've talked with with uh, Tamra and and uh, the Chamber of Commerce, Fulton Area Development. Oh, okay. So. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we didn't we didn't have the resolution <coughs> worded incorrectly. Thank you. Can I, can I ask Kim? Thank you. Yes. So, Kyle, in your memo, where you have two thousand dollars for a city match, that's not actually correct. Um, that's a that's a memo uh, in reference to the. That we were awarded. That's a that's that's that grant. All right. If there's no more discussion. All those all those in favor, say yes. 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 All opposed. That ordinance or resolution passes. So let's move on to ordinances. And then the same thing with ordinances that we had in the last. We had an uh, ordinance that was put on the table. Is there any uh, body would like to remove the ordinance off the table for consideration tonight? Ordinance number 1563. Well, we need to remove it from the table if we want to keep it alive, right? Right, correct. correct. Mm -hmm. So I move to remove from the table. Second. Se okay. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? I feel like it needs to go right back to the table. And just to be clear, anyone who's watching, you might have said this and I might have missed it, but this is pertaining to the 2020 budget. All those in favor, say yes. 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 All opposed? Right. Resolution is removed from the table. Er, My ordinance has been yes. removed from the table. Okay. All right. Now, said the, the last meeting, we had a motion at the last meeting mm -hmm. to place the bill for final passage, uh, Madam Clerk. So Mr. Schiverdecker made the motion and Ms. Pace Snook seconded that. Do your motion still stand? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Then we can go ahead and have discussion. I move to table bill number 1563. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Is there any way that we can go ahead and pass the budget? <coughs> without the contract being completely approved, we can go ahead and pass the budget, keep those funds allocated currently. There is there is there is seventy eight thousand budgeted right. in the budget. Without a contract that, that money would not be expended. Mm -hmm. But it could be <coughs> looked at as being a placeholder. Mm -hmm. um, if there's additional desire to raise it, um, there's a couple places in the budget of, of what some discretionary funds where we would be able to find that extra ten thousand dollars. Okay. So we could go ahead and pass the budget and get that. We can get. Yes. We could pass the budget tonight without any problem, without any worries. I've had some mm -hmm. some concerns that were expressed to me about tabling the budget and mm -hmm. kind of waiting on that um, from some employees. So I I do think going ahead and moving forward with passing that would would be helpful. Um, I would like to see that happen. With that additional information, I rescind, I rescind my motion to table. I'll rescind. Thank you. All right, we're back to the original ordinance. You guys Dream. are just trying to put me through the ringer tonight. Yeah. Any, any more well, discussion got, on okay. this? Okay. We've got to earn that okay. Okay. <laughs> Any more discussion on this ordinance? Do we need to make a new motion? No, nope. that motion will still stand for Mr. Shiverdecker and Ms. Pace Snook. All right, all those in favor say yes. 
Yes. yes. yes. All opposed. Ordinance 1563 passes. It actually will go to. Uh, and it goes to a, a roll call read. Right. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, Mr. Moore. Are you in favor of this ordinance passing? Yes. Thank you. Ms. Pace Snook? Yes. Ms. Reclue? Yes. Ms. Sabacher? Yes. Mr. Shiverdecker? Yes. Mr. Stone? Yes. And Mr. Braun? Yes. Seven council members affirmative, one absent. All right, next we'll move on to first reading ordinances. <coughs> Councilman Stone, would you yes, present Deputy Bill Mayor. 1568, please, for first reading? Bill number 1568, an ordinance amending section 110-283, stop signs and yield signs, Fulton City Code, by removing certain yield signs, enacting stop signs in their place, and establishing an effective date. I move for... Uh, passage of first reading of Bill 1568 at tonight's meeting. Second. I move for second reading at the next meeting. Thank you. <laughs> well, I felt you, Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the benefit of the audience, what this what this ordinance would do would make all cross streets on Court Street between 10th and 6th stop signs, stop signs. Uh -huh. rather than the existing yield sign. Will this have any impact on the speed limit? This ordinance will not affect the speed limit, but I do believe that's something that has been discussed and they're monitoring now. Okay. All right, we have a motion and second. Is there any more discussion? We've already discussed. <laughs> All those in favor, say yes. 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 All opposed? Moves on for the next reading at the next meeting. Can you please present bill number 1569 for first reading. Bill number 1569, an ordinance authorizing the mayor on behalf of the city of Fulton, Missouri, to sign all necessary documents in relationship to the Missouri Highway and Transportation Commission Traffic Engineering Assistance Program Agreement for the TEAP028 Project Award. I make a motion. We, s we place bill... 1569 for second reading at next regularly scheduled meeting. Second. second. Motion and second. Any discussion on this much? On this bill? Do we have any projects in mind for that, Kyle? It's as I was discussing earlier, this is developed at 88. Help us develop an 88 this transition is the second plan. Part of yeah, give us assistance with it. Yeah. Thank you. All right, no more discussion. All those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed. Bill moves, oh, ordinance moves on to the next a bill. Moves on to the next uh, <laughs> council meeting. So we'll now move on to second reading ordinances. Councilman Braun, you're the man in, in the light again. 1565 for second reading, please. I would like to do the second and the third reading on this this evening, please. Okay. Bill number six. 1565, an ordinance authorizing the mayor on behalf of the city of Fulton, Missouri, to declare certain tracts of land known as 607 Bluff Street and 609 Bluff Street to be surplus property, authorizing their distribution and establishing an effective date. I make a motion to read Bill 1565 for a third time this evening. Second. A motion and second. Any discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed. Councilman Braun, would you present it for a third time, please? Bill number 1565, an ordinance authorizing the mayor on behalf of the city of Fulton, Missouri, to declare certain tracts of land known as 607 Bluff Street and 609 Bluff Street to be surplus property authorizing their distribution and establishing an effective date. I make a motion to put Bill 1565 for final passage at tonight's meeting. Second. I have a motion and a second. Discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed? So you've heard Bill 1565 read three times. Please make your final consideration as the clerk reads the roll. Okay, Ms. Pace-Snook? Yes. Ms. Reclue? 
Yes. Ms. Sabacher? Yes. Mr. Schubert-Decker? Yes. Mr. Stone? Yes. Mr. Braun? Yes. And Mr. Moore? Yes. Seven council members affirmative, one absent. 1565 passes. Councilwoman Pace Snow, please present bill number 1566 for second reading. Thank you. I'd like to do second and third. Thank you. Bill number 1566, an ordinance amending Appendix A, Zoning, Section 1, Definitions, by removing certain language pertaining to parking space regulations and establishing an effective date. I make a motion to place bill number 1566 for third reading at tonight's council meeting. Second. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed? Councilwoman Pace Snook, please read it for the third time. Bill number 1566, an ordinance amending Appendix A, Zoning, Section 1, Definitions, by removing certain language pertaining to parking space regulations and establishing an effective date. Make a motion to place bill number 1566 for final passage at tonight's council meeting. Second. Motion and a second. No discussion. All those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed? You've heard bill number 1566 read three times. Please make your final consideration as the clerk reads the roll. Ms. Reclue? Yes. Ms. Sabacher? Yes. Mr. Schubert-Decker? Yes. Mr. Stone? Yes. Mr. Braun? <coughs> yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. And Ms. Payson? Yes. Seven council members affirmative, one absent. All right. Councilman Moore, would you please present bill number 1567 for second reading? In order to declare city property to be surplus property, authorizing it to be sold and establish an effective date, I move this for a final passage at tonight's meeting for third reading. Third reading? Second. We have a motion and second. Any discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed? All right, Councilman Moore, please present Bill 1567 for third reading. Bill number 1567, ordinance declaring city property to be surplus property, authorizing it to be sold and establish an effective date. This is the final passage. Second. second. We have a motion and second. Discussion? All those in favor? Yes. 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 I know I changed it up on you. <laughs> <laughs> All those opposed say no. All right, you have heard bill number 1567 read three times. Please make your final considerations as the clerk reads the roll. Ms. Sabacher? Yes. Mr. Schiverdecker? Yes. Mr. Stone? Yes. Mr. Braun? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Ms. Pace Snook? Yes. Ms. Reclu? Yes. Seven council members affirmative, one absent. 1567 passes. We now move on to third reading ordinances. Councilwoman Sabacher, please present Bill 1564 for third reading. Yes, sir, and may I just say thank you for being so quick this evening. I just checked the weather. We're under a tornado watch, so get home <laughs> safely to your families. Um, bill number 1564, an ordinance declaring city property to be surplus property, authorizing it to be sold and establishing an effective date. I make a motion to place bill number 1564 for final passage at this council meeting. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? <laughs> All those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed? You've heard bill number 1564 read three times. Please make your final consideration as the city clerk reads the roll. Mr. Shiverdecker? Yes. Mr. Stone? Yes. Mr. Braun? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Ms. Pace Snook? Yes. Ms. Reclue? Yes. And Ms. Sabacher? Yes. Seven council members affirmative, one absent. 1564 passes. Madam Clerk, please read the announcement. <laughs> All right. Our final 2019 City Council meeting will be held Tuesday, December 17th at 6.30 p.m. And candidate packets for the offices of first through fourth ward council members are available in the office of the City Clerk Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Candidate filing opens December 17th at 8 a.m. and closes January 21st at 5 p.m. For additional information, please contact the City Clerk. Also, I just want to say thank you for everyone. Um, that was a great surprise. I really appreciate it and all of your support throughout the year. Thank you Congratulations. very much. Congratulations. Thank you for all you do for us. We yes. appreciate you. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. I have no need for executive session. <laughs> <laughs> all, those, all those in favor of going home, please stand up. Yes. yes.